dropped off my mom and my sister. We went to Costco um, to, my mom returned her hearing aids. So she returned them and she's getting the ones with batteries. So now we have to wait till September to do that. Now I'm going to get my new tire because the one tire is flat yesterday. You even hear me? I should be driving a little slower considering I'm using a spare little tiny baby tire. Anyway, going to do that. And then Matt is going away for a few days. Anyway, it's a gorgeous day. Gorgeous. It's like, I don't know, feels like about 23. It's perfect. There's wind. Costco wasn't too busy. It's nice to see my mom. Carla was in a good mood. Not like she's in a bad mood. Everybody was in a good mood. Everybody. Did I tell you I love my family? I do. I fucking love my family, man. I do. Going to my mom's to um, help her with some forms. For, she's looking for senior housing. She lives with my oldest sister and um, you know, all that is obviously just between them, but it's not working out for her. For my sister, she would be able to deal with it, I'm sure. Um, she's very strong and very, very strong. Oh, dog dish. Anyway, um, yeah. So, going to do that and help a girl out. And then probably go see Tony afterwards. She hasn't messaged me, so let me check out. Nope, she's not home, so I'm going by myself, which is absolutely fine. I think I need to make a phone call before I go, but oh, I'm so tired today. It's um it's pretty warm. It's like 26 degrees, which is about um, I don't know, 75, almost 80. Right where that light's shining, I knocked myself right in the forehead right here with the edge of my phone, like the corner of my phone. Fuck, it hurts. Well, that was a really good visit. <laughs> um, didn't really get a lot done. Well, actually, I did get a lot done. I didn't have to fill out any forms, but I got a lot of pictures taken that I scanned for my mom and I need to print. So that's good. Um, yeah. So I'll go home and do that for her. <coughs> I'm supposed to be going to Rose's to uh, drop off Tony's clothes. Everybody, it's 30 degrees, and my hand is burning on the steering wheel. Oh my god, it's hot. Anyway, um, 
I'm going to go get me and Tony a drink. She went out last night and she said she doesn't feel like visiting much. So in other words, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm gonna go grab her a drink and something to eat and drop off her clean laundry. And, um, you know, give her shit for going out. <laughs> it's really hot. I hope my mom didn't go out at all today because it's like the wind is hot. It's 30 degrees, so I think that's 90. Pretty sure. 90, 90 something. Not like I'm not used to it. I am. Anyway, gonna go and grab us some McDonald's. Um, just a drink and a snack wrap. Because that's what's healthiest on the menu. Mm -hmm. Get her a couple snack wraps, a new snack wrap. Just drop it off and then probably could just go home. It feels like my nose is bleeding. Hopefully not. Um, I'm gonna stick my thumb up my nose. No, it's fine. Ew. Someone saw me do that. I still feel like my nose is bleeding. I think it's allergies, to be honest. Uh, me and my mom were having a conversation this morning about memory loss and COVID. And I think I, I think I got through to her that she doesn't have Alzheimer's. Like, I know that she feels like time is ticking, ticking away. I agree wholeheartedly, but I think she was afraid that maybe she had Alzheimer's because her memory it's going a little bit and I don't blame her, but she's also had COVID at least once, probably twice. So yeah, I'm pretty sure twice. Hello, you guys. Here I am again. Creating that riveting content we all know I create. Matt's been gone for, I think this is the second day now, I think so, and I've been getting things done. I, I don't know why I, I can't seem to get things done with him around. I think it's because he's in the middle of everything and I don't want to work around somebody. I just do better by myself. Do you guys, are you guys like that? Because I can get a lot done when no one's around. So today when I get home, I'll be hopefully tackling the rest of the kitchen and then making some chili, vegetarian chili. I hope that's what happens. <laughs> I always have faith that that's what's gonna happen, you know? Why do I always do this? I come at the certain time when everybody's doing the same thing as me. Anyway, I have so much to do today. Meat and crackers. I shouldn't be sitting in the sun. Although I did put sunscreen on, so all is good. Look how shiny my head is. <laughs> Look how shiny my head is. Okay, this is that um, Juice Beauty Glow SPF. That's what this is. Yes. I love it. I do love it. That's a definite rebuy. These crackers come in handy. I haven't been taking my probiotic because I ran out. I buy them on Amazon. They're the probiotic gummies. And man, my stomach. 
stomach does so much better on probiotics. Only because I take Plaquenil and I take an anti, another anti-inflammatory, which is Dibroxin. And I usually take them pretty close together. <coughs> Can't help that though, it's sorry, asthma cough. Um, wow. Really dry. Anyway, um, I take them pretty close together and they just destroy my stomach. So, I should always remember to bring water. Anyway, it's a beautiful day. Yeah, I've done, uh, yesterday I did about four loads of laundry. I cleaned the living room, the coffee table. Um, I still need to do a little bit of um, organizing in there. And what else did I do? I ate like six times yesterday. I was so hungry. Anyway, um, it was a very good day. I feel kind of accomplished. So today I need to go to the grocery store. I'm going to Value Village right now to get myself ready for the grocery store. I gotta get myself primed and ready for people. So that's why I go to one, uh, Value Village first. I've got to go to the grocery store and then the drugstore to pick up prescriptions. Uh, should have put my eyebrows on better. And then um, I was supposed to go to Canadian Tire, but I'll be waiting for that because I think that's just too much stuff to do in a day. I had a really weird dream last night. I had a dream that um, me and my sister and Matt and just one of my sisters, could have been both my sisters, um, and Antonia and Anna, just like all family and some friends in there, uh, we all ended up coming down with some kind of disease. So weird. Uh, first, I think the first symptom was bruises all over our bodies and then the second symptom was like blisters and then white hair growing all over <laughs> my arms and then um, my skin was turning green and then my sister was like I'm gonna I, I can't just sit here and let this take us over I'm gonna find out how to get rid of it so she got on Google and, and um, I guess it told her to go behind this one door and cut a wire where it was like hooked up to like, I don't know, something electrical, like a doorbell or something. So she did that. And then all of a sudden, all of our symptoms started going away. And I said, I was standing in the kitchen beside the sink. And I said, what? So, cause we all thought we were gonna die. And she, and I said, so that's it? All of this was for nothing? And she said, yeah, I guess so. And then I started doing the dishes and I woke up. Every day, I think to myself, That's, this has got to be a dream. How did I all of a sudden become 55 years old? I'm floored every time I think of it. But like I've said before, I've lived at least, I'm on my third uh, life right now. By that meaning, I had a life till I was about 24, 25. Actually, I'm on my fourth life. Um, 
and that and that was fun and you know I was single for the most part uh, had boyfriends and stuff had a lot of drama trauma all, all kinds of stuff and then I met my first ex-husband Chris uh, who had three children I raised his three kids helped raise his three kids I didn't raise them but myself um, with him his mother and his sisters kind of and then I divorced him had Antonia divorced him uh, and then met and got married again so this is my th third life now um, to a man with three kids again helped raise them uh, they had mothers so but they lived with with my ex uh, half and half like shared custody so yeah I helped raise them got divorced and now I'm living my fourth life don't ever let anybody tell you you can't start over from scratch because you sure can.